Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Revit MEP families. Today we'll be working on a water heater family. So what we've done so far is model our geometry. As you can see on the screen, we have our water heater modeled. It includes the box and all of the pipings that are going to come out of it. Now just to keep things short, these pipes aren't nothing but extrusions that we've created on it. Uh, keep in mind that when you're modeling Revit MEP families, a large part of the modeling is actually just done with extrusions. Now, we'll give it intelligence by using some parameters and using some connectors. So, let's get into this right now. So, we'll start off at the bottom of our water heater and we'll start working with our entrance or our gas entrance, our natural gas. So, for this, we'll have to use a pipe connector and for that, we'll go into our create tab and we'll go into our pipe connectors. Now as you can see in our contextual ribbon we'll find a tab that calls that's called modify place pipe connector. Now we have two placement types. We have either a face placement or we have a work plane placement. In this case we'll like to work with our face placement as we'll place this connector on the face of our geometry. So I'll go ahead and choose one of my faces. Now I'm going to go ahead and freeze this frame real quick. As you can see, when I select the bottom part of this extrusion, a blue line highlights the edge of this face. This indicates that I'll be placing my connector on the bottom face of this extrusion. So I'll go ahead and accept that. Now when I click on this, I can see that a large circle appears around that extrusion and it says diameter. Now this is what we call a pipe connector in Revit MEP and this allows for us to connect with pipe systems. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, cancel out of my previous command and make sure my modify arrow is on and I'll go ahead and click on this connector. As you can see we get a series of properties in our properties palette. We have flow configuration flow direction, loss method, allow slope adjustment, system classification, flow, pressure drop, diameter, and a uh, few identity data parameters that we'll get into a little bit later. When we're modeling Revit MEP families, we have to keep in mind our product specifications as this is a physical representation in a digital model of our real product. So we have to be very accurate with this information and our spec sheets are the best tool we have when we're modeling Revit MEP families. Now from time to time we may not have all the specs available but don't worry this isn't much of an issue as all we need is really what is going to be working with our systems. So for example if we're working with a water system all we really need is the water specifications. We may, we may not need electrical or gas. Now if we want this to work with all three, electrical, gas, and water, then in this case we do need to have all these specifications. So keep that in mind whenever you're modeling a Reddit MET family. So next step I need to do is go ahead and configure these parameters. So flow configuration, I'll go ahead and leave it in calculated. Flow direction, I'll go ahead and change this to in. Loss method, it's not defined, They're really, really, we aren't going to set this up for this, for this parameter. Allow slope adjustment. Uh, slope adjustments are a very interesting parameter we can set up. Sometimes we may have sloping pipes that come into a family and just because they are sloped, they may not be allowed to connect. So if we have sloping pipes, we will definitely need to activate this parameter. But since in gas, or when we're talking about gas, it's probably not going to be necessary as we will not have sloping pipes. So I'll go ahead and omit this for the time being. System classification, in this case we are talking about gas, so we are going to work with other. Flow, I'll go ahead and associate this parameter or this family parameter. Now, when we're working with parameters in Revit and MEP, we have the option to set it directly over here. Now what this is going to do is that this is going to give this object a parameter that's a given. Now we want to have or we want to offer a little bit of flexibility to the user so that they can input this information. We'll have to use this square that appears at the end of this parameter. What this is going to do is going to open 
the parameters dialog so we can create a parameter for this option. So I'll go ahead and click on this just so we can get into the, the rhythm and the feel of what it's like to associate family parameters. When we click on it, we get this window that's asking us to choose a parameter in this family. At the time being, we don't have any parameters, so we'll go ahead and add a parameter. When we open this, we get the parameters properties. Now we have two types of parameters. We have either a family parameter or a shared parameter. Uh, in this case, and to keep things short, we'll go ahead and work with a family parameter. Our parameter name, we'll go ahead and click natural gas flow. Now I'll keep this as a type parameter. Uh, a way to differentiate type and instance parameters is very simple. If we want to keep a parameter that is specific to a type, we can set it here. Now if we want each object that we insert in our model to have different options or different parameters, then we'll have to set it as an instance. Since this is a pretty much a given for each, for each model type, we'll just go ahead and leave it on type. And we'll group it under mechanical properties. I'll go ahead and click OK. And click OK. As you can see, it changes over here. And now I don't have any options change it anymore as this will be dependent on our type properties. Diameter. Now this is very important. The diameter properties is where we set the diameter of what type of pipe can connect to this to this connector. So in this case we are talking about a three quarter inch pipe. Go ahead and set it. And when I accept the value you can see that the connector changes size in the model. This is normal. And lastly, what I want to do is set a connector description. And here I'll go ahead and set what kind of system we're working with. And I'll go ahead and just place here natural gas. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up our connector for our cold water in. And I'll go ahead and go back to create. And I'll choose my pipe connector utility here. Again. I'll click on the face of the bottom part of the extrusion and we get our circle again. So I'll go ahead and choose it. Okay, so for our parameters, we'll go ahead and leave flow configuration to calculate it. Flow direction, we'll set it to in. Loss method, not defined once again. System classification, we'll go ahead and change this to domestic cold water so that this links to a domestic cold water system in our project. Flow configuration, I'll go ahead and create a new parameter and we'll call it flow. And once again, I'll leave it on type. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Perfect. Now the last thing we need to do is set our diameter for our connector. We're working with a three quarter inch pipe again. Now I'm not setting up parameters for these since this is a given and there really isn't much we can do as our spec sheet only works with three quarter inch pipes. So we'll go ahead and leave it as is for this project. Now connector description, we'll go ahead and put in cold water in. And we'll go ahead and click apply. apply. Okay, perfect. We got two connectors set up. Both are coming in. Our first one is gas, our second one is cold water. Now let's go in and model our connector for our hot water out. So we'll go back to create pipe connector. Make sure we're on face. And we'll click the bottom part of our extrusion once again. Go back to modify and select our connector. Flow configuration is calculated once again. Flow direction. In this case, we're working with out. Loss method not defined. System classification, now we're working with domestic hot water. And we'll go ahead and set our flow configuration to our flow parameter. Remember, we're sharing flow for both hot and cold water. And we'll go ahead and click OK. Diameter, our diameter for our hot water is a 3 quarter inch pipe, once again. And connector description, we'll go ahead and set it to hot water. Out. Okay, we pretty much got this done. Now we just need our condensate out connector here. 
just in case our client or whoever is using this model wants to connect any condensate pipe to this. So we'll go back to our create and we'll use our pipe connector. Go ahead and set it there. Modify once again and we'll click on our connector. Flow configuration is calculated. Flow direction in this case is out. Loss method not defined. And our system classification we'll go ahead and set it to other. Diameter we'll set it to one eighth of an inch. And connector description we'll just type in condensate. Okay. We have a, an extrusion here at the center that's in white. This extrusion is for, according to spec sheet, is for our remote control connection. We can set this uh, system or this water heater to connect into a control panel. Since we don't really have any specifications on this, we're not going to set it up. But keep in mind that if you really want to be very specific with this, you can add some electrical, some electrical specs to this model. So we'll just leave it as is, and we'll go up here to the top. We got our our vent pipes here already modeled so we can start adding some connectors. We'll go back to our create tab. So we'll go ahead and click on duct connector. Once again we need to make sure we're on face and I'll go ahead and click the top part of our first extrusion of this pipe on the right side. Now as you can see it changes a little bit here. We get a square connector. This is not correct since we are working with a round PVC vent system. I'll go ahead and click on my connector and as you can see in our properties palette we have several different properties and one of these is our shape so we can change this from rectangular to circular I'll go ahead and do that now round and our diameter in this case is a three inch pipe okay flow configuration it's calculated flow direction in this case is out system classification exhaust air loss method not defined and our flow I'll go ahead and associate a parameter to this and I'll create one called vent flow and click OK. Set this to our exhaust system. And utility connector, I'll just go ahead and put exhaust air. OK. Go back to create, duct connector, once again face, and I'll click on the top face of this other pipe. Once again, I'll click on my connector, and I'll go ahead and set my parameters. In this case, it's in, system classification, exhaust air, loss method not defined, flow, I'll go ahead and set my vent flow property. Shape, we're working with round. And our diameter is once again a three inch pipe. And I'll put air in. And we're pretty much done with our family. So stay tuned into our channel. We'll be uploading some more videos on family creations and basic use with Revit. Thank you for watching.